mentioned how like all novels have mystery in them and i was like you're right because the thing that keeps in in like most stories the thing that keeps the reader like turning the page is there's like something where they're like I don't have the answer to this yet or I don't know how this is going to play out like that kind mm -hmm. of a feeling mm -hmm. and so when you said that in your email I was like that's actually such a really good point and it's kind of like thrillers just like ratchet that up even higher but then we went and saw challengers I don't know if you've seen challengers yet Okay, so this podcast might just turn into us talking about challengers. <laughs> because I saw it last exactly. week and I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. What did we? <laughs> so we, we saw challengers right after you and I talked about that. And you mentioned like all good stories have mysteries in them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to like not, I don't want to spoil it at all for anyone who hasn't seen it. So what I'll say is like, I was seeing all these TikToks before we went and saw it and they were like, the story structure is so crazy. Like it's unlike anything I've seen and people were comparing it to, um, they're like the last time I saw something like this was Slumdog Millionaire is what they were comparing it oh, to. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I could see that. And then we saw the movie and, um, I was like, okay, I see where people are getting that. But I think what I really enjoyed about it is it's, it's kind of paced and told like a thriller mm -hmm. where you start, you start at present day and then you're getting these little glimpses from like 13 years ago up to present to explain why everything is so intense in the present and they just do it so well. So it's mm -hmm. like every time you're going into the past, they're kind of answering a mystery, a mystery that gets brought up in the present and i was like this is a perfect example of what hallie was saying but what i also said to tyler um after we left it i was like now i see why like people i'm not trying to say this in a pompous way people who like just watch movies and don't read as many books mm -hmm. i see why they're like i've never seen a structure like this since slumdog millionaire right. where like i was telling tyler i was like this is the structure of some of my favorite books is like mm -hmm. figuring stuff out this way so it really is like it's it's not a thriller but it feels yeah. like one and it's just a great movie <laughs> Totally. It is thrilling, but it's not a thriller. Yeah, yeah. totally agree. Yeah. And it's, yeah. And I'm, I'm with you. The structure is very book-like in that way. Like it's a, like actually mm -hmm. a very, like, I wouldn't say traditional, but like a, a fairly common device to have kind of like a um, yes. current timeline and a past timeline and the way you interweave them would be almost exactly the way that Challengers does it, where it's like, yeah you have these snippets of the current timeline moving forward and then each one moves back. And I also loved about this. I loved that movie. I like on so many oh, levels, I loved it. Yeah. I didn't like, it's not that I didn't thought it was a perfect movie, but like I came out of it just no. like exhilarated. And I was like, I want to yes. see it again, you know, like, and yes. I want to be like, I've never played tennis in my life, but somebody get me a racket, you know? Um, <laughs> but like, I also love that the structure of it is, um, in some ways mimicking the tennis match that we're following. That's kind of yes. this back and forth call and response. I, I just thought it was a really like smart and well put together movie and just like high energy and sexy so energy. and horny. And like, I was so into it. It made me bisexual. remember it was yeah, so bisexual. bisexual for days. <laughs> like it was so great. And then um, it made me, you know, I grew up playing sports and I thought that they did a mm -hmm. really good job of kind of capturing that feeling of like power mm -hmm. that you have when you're like at the top of your game and your yes. body is really like bending to what your mind is asking it to do that like those two are really mm -hmm. in sync and that is like I was trying to remember the last time I saw that feeling captured on screen and it made me want to capture it in a book and like yeah I don't know yeah. I loved it yes yeah, I was obsessed with it. Again, trying to keep it as spoiler-free as possible. The score yeah. is amazing. The score is part of what makes you like think that you could win a tennis match. <laughs> yeah, totally, <laughs> like, totally. Like, I, I could totally play tennis. Totally. It was um, the same feeling as, um, which I know you just saw too, Monkey Man, where it was like, I could like kick oh. through walls after that score where I was just like, yes. oh, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> my gosh i know i was just about to bring that up because i i saw we saw monkey man and then the next week we saw challengers and i was like this this like i am kicking off the summer of movies like on a high so <laughs> you really are like, mad max curiosa is still as good uh, as i'm thinking it's gonna be i'm sure it will but i hope so too i'm really excited for that one yes totally yeah 